I don't mean to ramble and take people's time off because we all know that's what I don't, I don't like doing. But uh, lately, uh, well, lately, I guess is the word. Um, things have been going a little awry, I guess the, the technical word here in the company, uh, with the booking and the arrangements that Brian Lynn has made. Okay, I have gotten maybe two title shots. I, granted, I lost both, but still, I've proven myself consistently to be the number one contender, and I haven't gotten that kind of uh, retribution, I guess. So, but yeah, calling into question Brian Lynn and his booking actions. As the locker room leader, I have walked around the locker room, got a consensus, and the majority of the locker room does not like Brian Lynn's booking or lack thereof, I don't know. Uh, and like CM Punk, I am the voice of the voiceless. Or am I? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, you know, Brian Lynn has his gripes. I'm sure he's gonna come out here any second now. I can expect it, he does it all the time to Drake. Um, so, uh, you know, th there we go. Come on out, Brian Lynn. Frankly, I don't know where all this is coming from. I've given you chances, you failed, not my fault. I'm trying to lead this company into a new direction, a better direction, and you're talking about the past. There's a new future, that includes me. There's a new future in WMWA. Whatever, whatever anyone else says, I don't care what anyone in the back says, I don't care what the powers that be say, I run this show. Quite frankly, even if you did get rid of me, I don't think there's anyone out there who could run this show better than I have. Well, I, I don't have the power to get rid of you, but there is someone that will be coming in. Uh, the consensus, they are upset, so. I don't care if they're up. Of course, I gotta get interrupted. I get no respect out here. Dave Doss, the Guamas Dragon, first Guamas. ever Triple Crown winner. When he says something, people listen. And he talked to the powers that be, and he told us, because that we all had problems with the whole, who had a problem with Brian O'Lynn since he's been commissioner? Me! <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They have spoken. I don't care what all you say, all right? I have the power, I run this show. Frankly, I could get rid of all of you and bring in scabs, I don't I care. you, bitch. Okay, we're not bringing in Mike Toxic and Jungle Gym Wrestling, okay? You need the WMWA original wrestlers, and we all say, fuck O'Lynn. Fuck O'Lynn. Fuck O'Lynn. No, 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 no. You stop this right now. You stop this. Fuck O'Lynn. Well, so basically, you already know what Dave Dawson said to the powers that be, and they have taken your commissionership and given it to, to me. Because they want... You can't take my power. I, I have the power. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. This is my okay, show. Whoa, you whoa, can't... Whoa, 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 to be whoa, 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 whoa. fair. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he wants his power? Uh, or whatever. What, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want out of this? I know what he wants. He's been, he's been, he wants to be heavyweight champion. 
He wants to get that gold. I know. I know what that's what you're really working for. Cause you you lied to everybody. You said that Drake ended your career, and that's why they gave you because they didn't want to lose you. But you can still wrestle. We saw what you did with Aaron, and I know you can still wrestle. But you just put yourself in title matches, and you're just mad because you can't do it. But you know what? I'm a fair guy, and tonight you're in the ring with Dave Dawson, <laughs> and not just any match. We're talking two out of three falls. And if Both out of this. And I'm gonna be fair. I can count. Thank you very much. I can count Spanish. You win, you get your heavyweight title match I against the winner of Aaron Humberto. I'm a very fair guy, and I know you want it. And if you can beat Dave Dawson, you earned it. But if Dave Dawson beats you, your contract's coming up this week, bud. And you didn't bother to give me a new one. I'm not gonna bother to give you a new one. So it's an all-or-nothing thing with you and Dave Dawson tonight. Ooh. Fair guy, you know. Uh, high risk, good. high reward. High yeah. High reward. He has no right to do this to me. Oh. No oh. right. You gotta get that close. Back it up. Yeah, yeah seriously, back, back that's my up. enforcer up, right up, there. Up, nice up. dread. Where did you come from? You would know show your own sex tape. Why are Don't you here? Don't worry about it. I do what I do. Uh, they're gonna do what they're gonna do, but we're gonna do what we're gonna do. And tonight, this is all your fault. My fault. This is all your fault. Your you fault. had to go open your big ass mouth talking about, oh, oh, Lynn's not doing a good job. You're not doing a good job. I'm hey, gonna put you, know you out of commission, yeah, listen to me. Yeah. Come, on, Come on, boy, <laughs> break it up, save it, save it, save it. I'll see you tonight. Take it for a second. <laughs> Hit my music, bitches. <laughs> Hit his music, bitches. You heard him? Yeah, bitches. bitches. Hit it. Bitches. Who's the bitches? Evan, you're gonna be fired. <laughs> <laughs> Can you fire him? Five, four, three, hit the music. <laughs> All right, go. you just took your shot. Audio back. Audio back. Let's get the work, bitches. New commission. Let's do this. Welcome everybody to WMWA Point Blank. We are going to start off with a bang. We got two exciting wrestlers here for you. Ace Armani with his manager, The Bouncer, who just teamed up last week. And uh, fan favorite Adrian coming out to beat it. Michael Jackson right there. That's a first. <laughs> I'm former heavyweight champion Rush, joined alongside uh, color commentator White Thunder. How you doing? Good, and we're ready to rock and roll. And uh, what a great way to kick it off, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Even before the match, we had some great excitement. Oh! Ooh. Adrian tried to get out of that. He just dropped them. He dropped them. I know. I, I know. Adrian back for it. was trying to get out with the reversal, the backdrop, but it didn't work there. Now he's a little loopy already. Whips him to the ropes. Adrian hops off. Ooh! Got tripped up there. Adrian, although he's been here for over a year, about a year now, um, he's only had a handful of matches. He's been in a few tag matches. He, he made his debut in the ten-man tag match last year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and for that matter, Ace is also pretty new too. He uh, made his debut against CJ Price mm -hmm. over the, during the summer in a the pretty tough, nice, Ducks nice the kick. Line, hits the ropes again, comes back. <laughs> a leg line. Oh! Very, very crazy Samoan drop reversal. And uh, Adrian's just taking it to him. Big leg drop. We also we know that Ace can take some damage, man. He in his first match, uh, CJ blooded, blooded him up pretty, pretty good. Yeah. 
and uh, he was still able to continue the match. Ace is definitely influenced by Rob Van Dam and that, that high, uh, fast-paced kicking style. Push him off, comes back, catches him. Try maybe for a North Lights. Nope. Oh, nice. This uh, version of a spine buster. Yeah, almost. he's a smaller guy. It's tougher for him to do that, but so, but very impressive. The well, fact you're trying to take a big guy down, you have to go out of the box, if you will, and think of new, new ways. Yeah, well, I'm impressed the fact that he can even do any form of a spine buster. Oh, oh! <laughs> open hand slap, right to the face. That's just not right. I, see, that's what that's what's gonna happen to Ace rolling with Bouncer. Bouncer's just the Bouncer's new attitude is gonna rub yeah. off on Ace. Oh yeah, Ace is definitely gone already gone from a fan favorite to uh, not too liked anymore. After well, they look at uh, what happened to Evan when he tried to join Throwdown and well, you pay a pr sometimes you have to pay the price to move up in the ranks, and that's what Evan tried to do, and that's what uh, Ace is trying to do. Yep, he doesn't want to put in all the hard work, and so he's got. Bouncer over there, his new, new teammate, huge, huge uh, dragon suplex, I want to say. They turned him inside out. Really? You don't see that too often. That's a rare move. Uh-oh. Rolling. Thunder. Oh, he caught the same time. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Adrian fights out of it. Adrian was actually a member of New Throwdown as well for a short period of time. It was, up, it was between him and Evan, wasn't it? No, uh, they had a match, Evan and Ag Angel, you're thinking of way back when, but oh. when Angel uh, stopped showing up, they got a couple replacements. They got Adrian and Snake to replace yep. Angel. Oh! Going for a head scissors takedown, but... He just, he couldn't hop he, up. He didn't hook the legs. He couldn't, he couldn't get him. Huge, huge headbutt, up, yeah, headbutt. breakdown uh, headbutt there. He usually goes for an elbow out of that. I've seen him do it a few times before. Adrian definitely has a very unorthodox style, but it's it's really exciting when he gets it going. Just uh, melee of punches right here. Well, his moves tend to draw in the crowd, which is why he's a fan favorite. Oh yeah, he's a very exciting wrestler. You know, he, he's a reminiscent of a wrestler from SFW, Luis Sanchez. Although I definitely not as good as Luis Sanchez was back in the day, but to, um, from SFW, Luis Sanchez was one of the. You're about the same size, yep, you know. Yep. Um, I know you've seen tapes of him. Yep. Oh. <laughs> He was losing his press almost, and he's, he's got him in a, a very nice submission there. But he's got the he's all over the ropes, though. Yeah, obviously you can't duplicate what Luis Sanchez did, but Adrian's a little reminiscent of him, which is an absolute compliment. Until Adrian can give a 450 to Drake. <laughs> On the outside yet. of the ring and live to tell about it, you're right. So, uh, oh, Adrian, Adrian. The ref's gonna let that go, because Adrian hit him first and he hit him back. Still did the damage. Look, look at Bouncer there. rocking the uh, the Ferrari glasses. Oh! Huge full Nelson slam. Unbelievable. Adrian's in another world right here. Two. And Ace kicks out. Our Ace doesn't get the three there, excuse me. Adrian kicks out. And that's impressive right there. That was a nasty <laughs> fall. Usually you land back first on those, but he kind of twisted with it. To whip him off again. Trying to get that Irish whip. Gets the ropes, comes back. Duck of the line. Adrian comes on back. Oh, oh he gets caught the second time around. I taught him that. You taught him the clothesline bouncer? Whoop de doo. Bouncer's just been absolutely frustrated because he just can't seem to beat Anarchy. Uh, he wants that Supreme title badly, and he gets another chance at it tonight. Well, last week. With a he new had attitude. Ace, uh... Him and Ace did attack uh, Anarchy. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, he, there we go. Into a cover. A backflip uh, neck breaker known as the ninja. Nice. And Adrian gets his first win at Point Blank, our supercar. Very impressive. Very impressive move. You know, some people are starting to doubt if Adrian was ever going to get a win, and uh, he proved them wrong. <laughs> 